few weeks ago, we did talk about the D5 render and possibilities that they've brought to the table with their brand new rendering engine. And we talked about all of the cool things that comes with this tool for both architects, product visualizers and 3D artists in general. Today, there is an update and we're definitely going to look at a couple of things, answer a couple of questions that you guys have asked. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're looking at D5 Render. D5 Render is an amazing piece of software that you should definitely, you know, get your hands on and try because it is pretty, pretty cool and really, really fast. And this is GPU accelerated and it makes a lot of sense. I did cover and extensively talked about everything you need to know about this tool in a previous video. So in case you haven't seen that video, link is going to be in the description so you can check that one out. And yes, they have gone ahead to actually fix their website. Like in the previous video when we talked about it, the website was down. And now the, they fixed it and it looks pretty cool now. Right now you just see the download button. And in the previous version, it was basically the Chinese beta. But now they fixed a couple of things. And you can now get the English version working for you. Of course, if you also have SketchUp, 3D Studio Max or FBX, you can go ahead and download the D5 converter, which would definitely convert your 3D Studio Max scenes, your FBX or your SketchUp file into the d5 you know uh, native file and you can use this right now this is totally for free although they're saying that they are going to have a commercial version after the launch and thanks to nvidia we're doing today's video with the nvidia rtx 5000 and this is one of the highly recommended actually they say we strongly recommend you using that and of course you're definitely seeing performance today what the rtx has in stock so in case you want to get this you have all of these prerequisites that you need to meet up with and of course we did the previous video with the nvidia gtx 1060 so you can also check that all right so let's get started directly in here you're going to notice that we have a brand new scene loaded and this scene is pretty simple straightforward and one of the biggest questions that you guys have asked after the new teaser dropped was how can you do animation and we're going to look at that in a bit so I have this brand new scene which I downloaded off the internet. Next thing which we want to do is add light. So you guys were asking how about the spotlight and all that stuff. Yeah, so spotlight by default comes with some sort of volumetric feeling to it. But then you need to also come over to the filters that we have directly here and also increase the scatter. So we did talk about the scatter earlier and of course we can also come here and reduce this. So in case you want to see that clearly, you can also go in there and see that. So I'm going to increase the fog density so we can see the volumetrics happening directly here. I think I did cover this in the previous video as well. So uh, yeah, so in case you have issues like this, this is how you can get this thing going. At the same time, there is improvement to how much uh, stretching you can do now. So you can actually uh, expand this and, you know, stretch this up and down. And they have not yet fixed this labeling, which is also something that I feel that they should do as soon as possible. So with this going on, next thing which we want to look at is animation. So the animation thing is one of the biggest things that a lot of people have been asking questions about. How does this animation work? Does it work basically on its own? Can you actually, you know, animate the daytime and the night and yeah, you know, all of those questions. And yes we will look at them right now. So how this works is pretty simple. So I'm definitely going to come over here and duplicate this and, you know, actually move it up to a point like this, make another duplicate and move this somewhere here. And we've already established the fact in the previous video that everything that you create exists here called the list. And I also explained in the previous video that of course, if you want to get the scenes working for you, you can also save them in SketchUp. And when you come over here, you'll be able to see them. So we have a scene like this, and we also have a scene like this. And I'll explain to you guys how this makes sense. You know, the things that you need to know about this just in case you want to do your animation. So in case you're coming from SketchUp, you can as well save your scenes and have them looking good while, you know, you're coming directly from SketchUp over to this place. So what we want to do now is just simply go back and we're definitely going to turn down the sky. So I'm turning down the skylight. So we have a skylight of zero. So what you would like to do is to simply come over here. So I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to click over here where we have render and select video. 
now by simply clicking and selecting video we have this you know this view pane and we have directly here a timeline where we can create the animation that we want you can set the size of what you want directly from here so if we're working with a 1080 we do have a 1080 and these things are still in chinese and yes we can also set this to be our first screenshot so this is the first frame we want to save and we can simply leave this thing as it is move over to a certain part let's say we want to move over to a part like this and of course this doesn't stay in the center and that's you know that's fair enough and i'm going to just simply click here and we have something else so now if i just have this and now have this so this is frame one and frame two i can simply you know play back and we're definitely having a smooth animation playing back in real time and this makes sense it makes a lot of sense and to me this is one of those cool stuff that i really really love to see in most rendering apps the fact that you can actually save your screenshots and you know get the animation working it makes a lot of sense and i like it so next thing which i want to do is just click here and we have a third scene and i'm going to just simply play back and you notice that it plays from the first frame to the second frame to the third frame and that's super super nice so in case you want to do your animations animation is now available in d5 render and you can leverage off the animation feature that exists in d5 render right now and create very amazing stuff of course we don't yet have materials that gets to do playback i don't think that is available right now but probably there will be an update to that which would make a lot of sense and the next thing which you can do here is just to fire up the render button but this is where i begin to have issues that the minute you choose to quit and you try to do something else you cannot go back to the previous scene all right so if i click here and go back to the video i do not see my saved video preset this isn't so nice all right this isn't so nice as it is so i really wish that the guys from d5 render can do something about that you know save us the heartache of doing these things over and over especially for a reason like this that maybe i, I have a light issue that hasn't been fixed and i want to fix this light and go back to the animation and you see i just lost the entire animation thing that i have done so this brings me to number two if you want to still use this tool and create some very fine looking animation animation and you don't want to go through the whole issue of you know you're saving stuff you're coming back you're saving stuff you're coming back and you're losing all of the you know all of the timeline stuff that you have a good way to save this is by simply coming over to the list and just simply clicking this so once you click here you have what you want i'm going to zoom over to this part and you know hold down shift to move it over here so in case you want to know how to navigate around in the previous video you're definitely going to find those out and i'm going to click here to create another scene and you remember we have a third scene which goes all the way up i think something like this and yeah so you can now create all of this so now we have one two and three scenes that we have and these are ways that you can save your clips so that you don't go through those heart aches of you know whenever you quit from here you have issues so right now we can come over here click on the first scene which we have and save this directly here go over to the second scene which we have save this directly here and also come over to the third scene and save this directly here and you can still save these scenes the way you want them directly from sketchup bring them over to d5 render and d5 render would respect that for you all right so it's definitely going to respect that for you so right now once you press the playback button all of the stuff that we've saved here earlier you can now get all of these things working perfectly fine for you exactly the way you want and to me this makes a lot of sense because you know at, at any point in time let's say you want to um get back to a point like this and you want to increase the daylight or you want to turn down the daylight or stuff like that you can easily do that okay the fact that you can save your transitions from here makes a lot of sense i mean even without having this you can simply come back to a shot like this and choose to bring back the daylight so for example i want to come here and get this i want to get the daylight coming in probably about something like that and i wouldn't want it to be so warm so i need uh, about a temperature that looks like this i can also come back here and by just simply coming back here i can hit the refresh button and i have that daylight scene that i want so you can move from night to daylight and by this time if you come over and go to the video settings within the render you can now come here and select the first one 
and simply put that in the snapshot. You can also go over to the second one and put the second one in the snapshot and go over to the third one and put the third one, of course, in the snapshot. And of course, you can see that because we're leveraging off the power of the NVIDIA RTX, we're having this thing play back in real time and we're getting all of these effects happening directly in our scene. You don't even need to hit the render button to see these things working directly in your scene. These are just happening real time makes a lot of sense for me and i love it so let's say we want to go from you know from daylight to some sort of extra light to some sort of you know nightfall we can do that by simply coming back to this section and we can increase the amount of light we have and we can press on the updates button which is right here and you can see our scene just simply updates and we can come back here and also do the same thing for this so we can also do the same thing directly here so let me say i want to make this a little bit warm actually let's make this slightly colder and let's move this a little bit upwards and there you have it all right so we're still going to press the playback button and you can see we're having this go from all the way to the night to a little bit of the morning time and directly to a full-blown you know uh, daytime and one of the cool things that you can also note is that from here you can still choose to play with the timing so if you simply click on this button here you can choose to play with the transition time so this transition time is set to six seconds and you can go ahead and make it 10 seconds and you can see it updates directly in your timeline which of course you can use the playhead to actually scroll all the way through so you can see how powerful these two is and of course with the right hardware you're definitely getting all of what you're looking for so makes a lot of sense for me and of course i'm very happy about this new feature and also the whole reworking of the ui and you know the stability that this tool has right now contrary to the previous bottlenecks and crash this is way more stable and i would like to actually you know know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's definitely going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace